Alright, it's time for some more updates, guys. All the places that we can camp, and you want to sleep at some creepy burial grounds? Hello? This is only like the most spiritually attuned location in the whole United States? Whatever. I think it's creepy. <laughs> Wait a minute. The superhero is scared? No, I just... Big scary monster's gonna come get you. <laughs> okay then. So, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, Wild Vine's plant abilities give him unparalleled mobility. Yeah, thanks for that. I already know that. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. <laughs> no. Uh. Oh, wait. There are slight traces of ectoneurite in these fang faces. Strange. That's because they come from Ghost Freak's home dimension. So of course they have ectoneurite DNA. They don't come from Anarphatos because that's where, uh... That's just ectoneurite. But, uh, they come from Anar something. Guys, you probably don't even know what I'm saying right now. Because I'm just talking Ben 10 knowledge. And you probably came here without knowing anything about Ben 10. Um, oh, wait. These fang faces have developed a devastating Sonic attack. Sonic? Uh, so... I want to talk about uh, some Smash speculation videos I was going to be doing. Uh, I already did the one where I talked about just general stuff for Smash for Switch. But uh, I want to go into deeper depth with some more videos and I was gonna start a series called uh, Brawler Brainstorm which is where I look at different franchises that are represented in Smash and some that aren't represented in Smash to see what characters from there could possibly be newcomers in the new game uh, so I can either start that or I can just talk about what I predict the roster could be uh, because we're probably going to get some stuff from the roster soon. Uh, mainly because that Invitational Tournament is coming. That's a Spongebob flower. That's a Spongebob cloud. Uh, the Invitational Tournament is coming. And, uh... So that means we're going to get some stuff from the roster very soon. Because right now we have nothing. I mean, we saw silhouettes of... Mario and Link for sure. And we saw two Inklings fighting. Which is probably just one character slot to be honest. Uh, so... That's all we know. Which makes it kind of dumb how they announced the Invitational Tournament now. Since there's nothing for it. Actually it wasn't even now. It was uh, even earlier than this. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do those. I'm probably gonna do the roster thing first, and I'm gonna start Smash Speculation. Uh, it's not Smash. What do I call it? Brawler Brainstorm. And I'm probably gonna do like a bunch of those, like week after week, just because I want to get those out of the way. Uh, yeah. Some things that actually bother me about some other people's speculation. Uh, it's just, I don't know why these things kind of bother me, but, uh, it's just things that people are like, this is a guarantee for Smash, like, and those things are, oh, okay, I fucked up, so I was trying to get that, the top one, um, okay, that did nothing. Uh, these things, these two things kind of bother me whenever I hear them. Cause I hear them a lot, and I'm like, why would you want these? Uh, one of those is an Inkopolis stage. And I'm like, why would you want an Inkopolis stage when... Like, I don't even know how that would be. It seems like it would be a very boring-looking stage. When they can choose, like, an actual map from Splatoon. Where... It actually has more potential for a Smash Brothers stage. And then, I'm always... This always bothers me, like... Every time I hear people are always like... 
Oh, Decidueye, he's a shoe, and he's gonna be the new Gen 7 uh, Pokemon. Just because he's a fully evolved starter, and he's grass type. Like, first of all, that's not how Sakurai thinks. Just because Greninja was a starter doesn't mean that Decidueye will be in. I mean, it could be anyone. I'm not saying any. I'm not against Decidueye. Decidueye would be really cool to have, but I, I hate it when people are just like, it's gotta be Decidueye. Like, there are other Pokemon that can be chosen. It's not, it's not just limited to only Decidueye. Okay, that, what? What? Most modern day horrors date back to a dimensional rift that opened in the late 1800s. Uh, so yeah, good. there's a lot of other possibilities that can be done that aren't Decidueye. I feel like this is just how people are thinking. Because even this was how it was in Back in Brawl. Uh, like we had Lucario and Ike. So, uh, at the beginning, when we didn't have that many characters announced, people were like, okay, uh, we're gonna get Krom and probably like, I don't know, Zoroark or uh, Genesect. Uh, those Pokemon, because they're movie Pokemon, and Ike because he was the main. Not Ike. Krom because he was the main character of Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, but then we ended up getting uh, Greninja, the Gen 6 fully evolved Mario type starter, and Robin, the avatar of um, Fire Emblem Awakening. And then also we got Korin as DLC. Who was the avatar in Fire Emblem Fates? So I feel like now people are like, oh, okay, it's gonna be a fully evolved, fully evolved starter Pokemon and another Fire Emblem protagonist. Like, guys, that's not how Sakurai thinks. He's not gonna keep doing the same thing. The only reason that Corrin was like that was because it was supposed to be a promotion for the new Fire Emblem Fates. Uh, Greninja, he was chosen from concept art. Robin, he was chosen because he was more unique than Krom moves at what? Oh, fuck. I just don't think that certain things are gonna be for sure. Like, I, I, I just don't get that. Uh, also, something that was pretty interesting that, uh, Source Gaming brought up was that maybe we won't get an ARMS character in Smash 5. Like, originally, uh, I actually thought that. I'm, I was like, wait, think about it. Would Sakurai really want to look into ARMS when it was uh, still in development and think, okay, I'm going to look here to see what character from this game can be put in Smash. I don't think he was going to do that. So, hold on. Cutscene. Okay, uh, here we go. I'm just gonna use an overpowered attack. And there we go. He's dead. creeped out. Of course. I didn't understand how Vilgax got access to a null void projector, but if Ghost Freak is on his side... He could have slipped right past the plumber defenses. We better get to Mount Rushmore and see what's going on at the old plumber base. Besides, if we're gonna battle this growing threat from the null void and Vilgax, we're gonna need some extra equipment. Yes! I finally get to play with the big boy toys. Uh, so yeah, I don't think 
Like, it would be very early for an ARMS character. Hold so on. So it's confirmed. Someone's definitely stolen a null void projector. All this high-tech equipment and you guys couldn't afford a burglar alarm? Psst. What were you guys thinking? The plumbers have the absolute finest security systems on the planet. There's no way anything could have escaped this room without one of these keys. Who says anything's escaped? Uh, yeah, so maybe it's too early for an arms character. I think that maybe if Sakurai wants to have an arms character, he'll probably do it as DLC if he wants to go that route. I'll talk more about this another time. Uh, and same thing for uh, the Xenoblade characters, the new Xenoblade characters that everyone's talking about. Uh, I don't know, the, it's like Rex and Pyra or whatever they're called. I don't know, I, I never played Xenoblade or Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But uh, Source Gaming brought up some information that could be used towards uh, uh, defending. Xenoblade, whatever it is, the Wii U Xenoblade, uh, to get a new character. Because apparently there was one that used an X or something, and Sakurai got like uh, one of those stop motion figures uh, just from X. And uh, Xenoblade 2 might have been like uh, too late. I don't know. I'm, I'll talk more about this I can sort out a in a different. Lasers, okay, okay. Only have a to get past the system yeah, I know. I gotta be Ben here because he's small. Uh, what else? Um, okay then. Uh, I don't know. What are some other videos I have planned? Uh, I'm going to be uploading the Forgotten Ones, episode 1, soon. Pretty soon. Ooh, it's an elevator, just like in that one episode. Episode. I meant that one level, and I said episode. Maybe it's because this is a Ben 10 game, and Ben 10 is a cartoon. Uh, as of right now, in 2018, the latest Benton is an awful cartoon. I can't believe what they did to Benton. It used to be such an amazing show, but then, then Omniverse came, then the reboot came. It, it's garbage. Just because cartoon never worth more money. Oh yeah, that reminds me of this email that I got from YouTube. Uh, let me just get my phone here, and I will read the email. It was a kind of weird email. So, hold on. I just broke one of the statue's noses. I couldn't see who that was. It's kind of hard to tell in this game because you're so uh, closely zoomed into them all. What happened to this nose? Uh, this is from YouTube. Uh, just gives me this shit here. Whatever. And it says. Thank you to everyone who made videos, tweeted, and reached out to YouTube during this difficult time. Your support means more than you realize. All of us working here at YouTube are very grateful for this amazing community. Okay. Hi, Mewtwo Million. Everyone- Fuck. Ever heard the expression, less is more? Well, there's a trend on the rise. Creators living on the road. Get inspired by how they're uploading while downsizing. Plus, check out how you can go live quicker than ever. Zoom, zoom. Okay, I don't know what that was for. 
So it wants me to downsize the work that I put into videos after uh, I'm doing all these all these videos and putting in hard work uh, to make them good. They're like, nah, fuck that. Try downsizing. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna downsize. Uh, then there's this shit. And right at the end it says, P.S. We've got a special treat that me that's meant to celebrate the accomplishment of creators from around the world and give you one final bit of inspiration for the month. Take a look. And it looks like the play button. Uh, so yeah, that's weird. Oh, I just don't really get it. You might be stuck here. Wait. Can you Okay, that was weird. Victor is one of the toughest creatures found on Ghost Freak's homeworld. I don't know why they decide to make Dr. Vic I'm starting up I don't know why they decide to make Dr. Victor an enemy in this game rather than making him the mini boss. He would have worked so much better as the mini boss. But instead they went with Hex for some reason. And it's not even really Hex, it's just Ghost Freak controlling Hex. The energy conduits for those doors run through that power core. Destroy it, and you should be able to get through. Alright. Just looks like we're smashing the lights right now. This is just destruction of private property. Okay, that would not happen. But what the fuck? What? It is plugged in. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Hello? Okay, there we go. Uh, we're back in business. I don't know why it's playing Enox theme. Or the theme of the Forever Knights, whatever it is. One last one. Okay. Good. Okay, this is weird. Okay, whatever. Should be fine. Just gonna kill. Why did they call them Fang Faces? Was it just because of that one line from the one episode? Tag, and you're it, Fang Face. Uh, so what else can I talk about? Um, I don't know. That's about it. That's all I really had to talk about. So, no, no, not again, not again, not now. Why now? Okay, no, no. Okay, something's wrong. Fuck. Um Yeah, I'm I have another nunchuck, let me just grab that. Fuck. Where the fuck's the nunchuck? Okay, we're back. Uh yeah, that was weird. Uh both of them were fucking up. Uh, but then once I took off the Wii jacket, the Wii remote jacket, it actually started working fine. That's weird. Hopefully that doesn't happen in the next episode. But, I, 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 I don't know. Um, I don't know, just in some random news, Dan Schneider finally, uh, fired from Nickelodeon. They're, they're just not, I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know if he was like, fired or they're just like, no, we're not accepting any more of your shows. Uh, but uh, Dan Schneider was finally uh, released from Nickelodeon uh, after 
lots of pedophile attacks. Like, uh, well, I didn't really know this until I saw this one video. And I saw this. Wake up the members of my nation. It's your time to be. And then, uh, yeah, I learn more, and then I hear that, uh, he's been tasing some of his actors, and, uh, he's been doing a lot of stuff with their feet, which is weird. I don't know. We're too late. Ghost Freak has taken the ethereal amplifier. What? What's that? Some sort of supernatural stereo? It was it just there. negative energy to dimensional proportions. Adapted to fit a null void projector, there's no telling how large a portal could be how created. How the fuck did he take it? We've got to stop Ghost Freak before Vilgax gets his tentacles on that machine. How do we stop him? In all my years of fighting boogeymen, the best weapon has always been the same. Information. We'd better get moving. It looks like he's headed to the Windy City. What the fuck? How did he take that? First of all, it was a big fucking thing in the middle of the room. Second of all, like, what the fuck? It was there the whole damn time.